today's junkyard finds we got a 1985 Ford LTD Crown Victoria Country Squire which is a big name for a big American station wagon so we'll start up front this has the 302 or the 5 liter that was in just about every Ford in that era V8 obviously nice big roomy engine bay I'm sure plenty of people put larger things in here besides just the 302 stroker motors big blocks all sorts of stuff and authorized mod modifications emissions recall Doesn't say a, oh, it would have had a date right there and a dealer number, but it is not obvious. Oh, it looks like it's got a copper radiator too, but I look at how green it is. And it is, uh, you can see that. It is throttle body injection, which is basically just a worst version of a carburetor essentially we got wood paneling nice big grill on the front water in the headlights more wood paneling wood paneling that uh seems like it was just a vinyl sticker and has seen a lot better days but it's a red car underneath it's got a roof rack Somebody took the Squire badges but left the Country badges. Or maybe they just wanted to say Country when they were driving around. Because this says Missouri and we're in the country. See that? So get it together. Seatbelt campaign because seatbelts were kind of new. Well, I mean, not that new, but people still argued about using them. LTD Crown Victoria. Got the original Ford cassette player. Your HVAC controls. Oh, that's interesting. E time. So, estimated time? That's what I guess that would be for. Never seen that before. It's kind of interesting. Got the keys in it. There's a lot of stuff that's very similar to uh, Lincoln's that I've worked on and pulled parts off of. That dome light's very similar to the. Lincoln Continentals, the switch panel is almost the same sort of shape, not as fancy, but it's still got similar ashtray in the center, dash, or the scuff plates, pretty much the same, or similar, similar design. Let's go around to the driver's side, it takes a while to get, to get around there. your lights and dimmer switch I assume does it have cruise uh, unless this is cruise but you do got go calm shifter these uh, LTD Crown Victorias or I guess just the Crown Victorias uh, just like the later Crown Victorias and the ones that probably most people are used to seeing these uh, were used for police cars not the station wagons but just the uh, sedans this one's got electric seats oh and here's your uh, switch to lower your tailgate too uh, I'm not sure what that is mirrors it only has passenger mirror so no driver mirror so that must be let me see No, I don't know. I would think that's what it's for, but I don't see it doing anything. Could be broken though. You only got a five digit odometer, so it's anyone's guess as to how many miles it has. It does have a check engine light though, which is uh, pretty uncommon for 85. 
But here's one of the uh, very special features of this car. You got your jump seats in the rear. So you can, you can fit four kids uncomfortably and have them fight with each other. A lot of the old station wagons had door or uh, seats that would face outward so you can make faces at the uh, people behind you. But this one you can uh, make faces at your brothers and sisters across from each other or play with a muffler, whatever you want. And here's a gross rat's nest with a very old uh, Hot Wheels car. That's pretty cool. And here's a Formula One looking car. This is probably from the 80s. Some kid played with it, lost it under the seat decades ago. Or maybe in the 90s. I'll, I'll, I don't know. Headliner's missing a big section. And of course, ashtrays everywhere with an individual cigarette lighters. All sorts of kids' toys from the 80s. Razor blades. So, I don't know if this will open, but the way, if I understand them correctly, the way these work is that these have electric rear windows. So you put this key in, turn it, and the window will roll down, and then you can open it. Or you can just open it without that. So, kind of interesting sideways opening. It's not a like a lift gate where it opens from the side. Of course, I can't get in because they parked the vehicles too close. I don't know about the load rating on that hitch. I don't know if I would trust it that much, but country. Yeah, this was uh, this was the ultimate family station wagon in 1985. Maybe not the ultimate, but it was pretty good, pretty decent. You had a few options, some power windows, power seats. Somebody wasn't doing too bad, and you can fit like 50 kids back here. So probably got terrible gas mileage, and I know uh, Volvo had a ad campaigns that they ran where they were making fun of how hard these things were to park and it was a very sexist ad it was like women can't park these so buy a volvo because you can women can actually park it ho 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 yeah that's the uh although i think that was that was like in the 60s or 70s and this is the 80s so i think volvo got a little less sexist by that time but this one got a little smashed on the side Neat car though. I'm sure there's people out there that uh, grew up in these. I grew up a little bit later. I wasn't even born in 85, so. Cool.